All right, let's get this shit painted. So I had to um, stop recording for the final part of the prep work and masking because I'm running out of room on my camera. Beast mode has been activated. Let's get this shit painted! Woo! Been smashing it out! I'm gonna put a bit of wet on wet down over that mill repair, that 3D mill repair. And over this entire door just to seal it down. That repair was a little bit rough. I had to re-repair it and use a primer. And I just want to seal it down with a bit of, um, with a bit of Wet on wet or numb sanding primer. They actually call it sealer in the USA. And then I'm going to be using just some straight up standard thinners or some face coat thinners actually over the edge where the wet on wet primer goes. So as I say, that still panel, that's an absolute greedy. Owner's right, not paying for it, it's not part of the damage, and this is a private job, so. I just, yeah, I said to the boss, like, why well, leave it? It's going to take me probably 20 minutes all up to fix it. It's a quick, quick one, nothing flat. It'll look better than a couple of great big, uh... You see, it's still, still damaged, but there's no big scratches in it like there was before. It'll just like a bit over this entire door, too. So I'll then go and clean this gun out. Hopefully by that time this will be dry enough to start putting my base coat down. It's a nice warm day today. Bath partner in it. You can see it's already starting to dry down up the top there and over the edges. Low pressure with the thinners. This will just help melt that end. So, shit, that overspray came right up to my blender and I'm going to have to wipe that off. Wow, that's floating like a bit. Wow, it's coming all the way down here too. That sucks. I'm going to have to wipe that off. So that's why, that's one of the reasons why I usually try and avoid doing wet on wet on body panels and anywhere near blend. This would have worked though. Something for that overspray. Wow, the teeth of it. Why? I might have to go out and get some more dinner. That's not going to be an issue. It's so thin. That overspray is so thin, there's basically nothing there. It's not even going to show up after painting. After base coat. Now, a bit of troubleshooting there for you, Gannis. I might even just make a bit of colour up there just in case. Yeah, I think I will. At least that blend looks alright. Yeah. I don't even know how well you can hear me, but I'll just keep talking and see how it goes. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll work. Oh well. There we go. Maybe I should have turned that pressure down a little bit when I was doing that wet on wet. 
Hey, the white. I'll be back in a sec. You got a lot of wet in Australia in that heat. This is like March already. Summer's over, and it's actually hotter than what it has been all summer. It's weird, but great, great painting weather. Flash of time. Ain't nobody got down for that. Good reason. That wouldn't apply to water, that would apply to this. And all ears. What one of the paint reps said is, uh, oh, you can trap the solvents in there. Well, the same thing happens with water. If you, if you skin it over, you can trap the water in there. Obviously, you just got to be careful that you don't do that. And if anything, it's much more of an issue if you do it with water than you do it with solvents. Either way, it's probably old jibber jabber to some of you guys. Some of you might get it, but whatever. I think someone's not going to go. That silver's laying down nice. Lower that pressure a touch. It was a little bit muffly after the second coat. It's all back on now. I was just hanging it for a minute just to make sure I'm happy with that blend. Sometimes I need to just put a puff more over. It's looking like it's going to be nice though. I blend it out nice. I'm happy with that. 
get a photo for Instagram while we're at it. Better now. Yeah, that's clean. The color's good. The blends are nice. Um, 
there's not a great deal of crap in it, and to be saying it's clean. Um, and yeah, the repair that I did is good. Like that was pretty bad when it came in from the panel meters. Um, I ended up having to re-repair 90% of that door. The sill panel was actually not part of the damage, it's a private job. And I just decided to fix a big scratch here and some dirty scratches down here. Like, yeah, it's still dented and all that, but um, there's no great big scratch. It's not gonna like stand out like it did before. So I'm pretty happy with that. Smash it out. Most painters wouldn't have got that painted today. They would have came in on Monday morning and got it done. But I searched within to find something um, just to get it done, you know, just to help out. Um, anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Government out. Enjoy. Have a good weekend.